And with Ghana's COVID-19 cases inching towards 6,000, scientists are emphasizing the need to know the impact of the country's response to the pandemic. That requires development of artificial intelligence to study common patterns among countries and classify them according to the spread of infection. A Ghanaian scientist has lived up to the challenge by developing the technology to determine the country's COVID-19 peak. On Tech Thursday, Love FM's Chrissy Deborah speaks with Dr. Mark Amobuatin of the University of Energy and Natural Resources in Sunyani. I looked at what was happening in Ghana, then I realized that Ghana were part of the group that is still emerging. Okay, so the coronavirus is still rising and hasn't peaked yet. And truly, if you look at Ghana, our cases, we've been doubling our cases almost every week. I think we've been good at that. Every week we, we try and double our cases. Uh, so I, I wanted to make sure that the AI is not um, biased. So I went and I looked at the different charts, okay, the data behind the scenes, and I compared and then probably I'll show you. Right? Ghana was just on the, like, on the mean in all the countries. We are just following the curve and it actually proved that um, we are not there. My name is Dr. Mark Amobatin. I'm a lecturer at the University of Energy and Natural Resources. I'm also the head for the Earth Observation Research and Innovation Center of the university. AI Country Monitor um, is to help objectively know what is happening in each country. You know, since the coronavirus came, um, there have been a lot of statistics. People have been trying to look at um, the confirmed cases, the recovery rates, and the number of deaths. But each country is unique. The dynamics are unique. Um, but I realize that since it's a pandemic and we are humans, we might respond in some unique ways. So the best thing was to try and look at patterns within it. And since everything was difficult, I tried to okay, let me see if I can use AI, artificial intelligence, to analyze the data that is coming and try to group the countries together. So that's why I might as well, I developed an AI and it was looking as of now, just looking at the confirmed cases. And by looking at the confirmed cases, it's grouping the countries into three. Okay, so those that are emerging, that is the coronavirus is still rising, it hasn't peaked yet. Those that are at their peak and they are able to control it, and those that have overcome the coronavirus itself. So that's the thing, and it's, it's an automatic process. So why is that? that um, it updates itself um, every 24 hours. But since not much changes happen, I decided to just push the updates every week. The AI pulls data from the GitHub, that's um, of the John Hopkins University. They compile data from World Health Organization and, and other sources, and they update it, for, I think, once a day. So the AI pulls the data, then it pre-processes it and analyzes the patterns within the data, looking at the past 100 days. Then it compares it to what is happening over the train period. Then, based on that, it tries to classify um, by probability what each country is doing. So that's um, basically how it does it. Um, it's using um, a concept which we call convolution, okay, or convolution neural networks, and that's basically the same technology we use in identifying um, people in images. And And based on my initial test and analysis, the AI is around 90.05% accurate. Okay, and, and I've compared the results to there's another um, university trying to do something similar, but they are analyzing the R nodes, and it's just for a few countries. And um, they have totally, like you can see that there are some cases they are totally different. Yeah. But if you look at the graphs, you realize that AI is actually doing a far better job and it's providing results for the whole, the whole world. Every state that is reporting data, um, the AI provides it. And the analysis is also quite fast. It just happens within about 30 seconds or so, every country is diagnosed. The models are accurate as the data that has, um, is being reported. 
Okay, so if a country ceases to report data over a long time, um, it would it will show that they are they are let's say they are peaked. Okay, they are not getting any cumulative cases. So if they um, it's going to say that this country is doing well or it's not doing well. So the tool is working very effectively, and um, in the future, I'm looking at not just the coronavirus, but you know, countries report all sorts of data, and this can be an effective way of analyzing each data that every country is, is reporting.